As an electrician, I have been electrocuted a few times in the past. Unfortunately, I wasn't hurt. Um, as a firefighter, I have uh, been in some situations where, you know, maybe we are a little bit too far uh, involved with the wires and kind of get out okay, but uh, you learn from it after that maybe that's a bit close. If we don't know how to manage those scenes uh, accordingly to make them safe for ourselves when we're responding to that incident, um, we put ourselves at risk and we could be affected by that. A number of things can, can occur, um, injury to, to yourself or, or multiple people on, on that scene, um, responders and public as well um, can be affected by a contact with a power line. Don't assume that the power is off. If you don't have a qualified person that confirms that the power is off, treat it like it is on. When you get a down power line or a transformer vault that's under snow, it's even more complicated. But at a car accident, we could have a car that's accidentally bumped a transformer off its pedestal with the energized lines under the car and, and we wouldn't see it if we don't take the proper time, if we candle moth in on the patient and don't take the time for scene control. And just a reminder to the crews for, you know, doing that extra bit of uh, 360 and scrutiny on the scene to make sure if it is involving power and uh, you know if you can wait for that subject matter expert tell your dispatch to get the the power company coming and when that power linesman gets there use that person as your subject matter expert. Contact may require an emergency response from your local fire department. However, not knowing how to respond in the event of an electrical contact can put firefighters at risk of injury or even death. Safety isn't just a priority at Fortis, Alberta. It's embedded in our culture and we strive to ensure that those who work near our power lines and facilities understand the hazards and what to do to stay safe. The following video is intended specifically for Alberta's firefighters. As a first responder arriving on the scene of a motor vehicle accident, your first thought may be to get the occupants out of the vehicle and begin first aid. Stop. You see that the vehicle has hit a power pole. Before getting any closer, immediately do a scene survey and assess the potential electrical hazards. Is there electrical equipment or lines involved? This could be underground or overhead. Is a down power line part of the incident scene? Is a down power line in contact with or in proximity to the ground or equipment? Is the power line broken or damaged? If yes is the answer to any of these questions, then assume that the line or equipment, anything that is in contact with, and the ground itself are all energized. It's especially important to consider potentially damaged electrical facilities in winter conditions. Exposed, energized wires and equipment can be laying just below the snow, posing an electrocution threat to anyone within the area. If you can see the vehicle's occupants and they are conscious, maintain visual and verbal contact with them to ensure that they stay in the vehicle. If the victims are unconscious, ensure that you have visual contact with them so in the event they regain consciousness, you can immediately direct them on staying safe in the vehicle. Do not come within 10 meters of a down power line or damaged electrical equipment. Firefighting equipment may not be rated for electricity or you may have compromised this rating in a previous fire response. By entering an electrical contact scene, you are unnecessarily risking your own life. Call Fortis Alberta using our 1-800 emergency line. This line is reserved exclusively for first responders and is available 24-7 for electrical hazards and emergencies.
Wait until a power line technician arrives to make the scene electrically safe and advises you that it is safe to approach the vehicle. Fortis Alberta has more than 350 power line technicians in more than 30 service points across central and southern Alberta. We are on call and ready to respond to your emergencies. It's important to have a plan for your response so you can advise our power line technician how much of the area you need de-energized. Always stay at least 10 meters away from a downed wire, more if the ground is wet. This includes anything the downed wire may be in contact with, like a fence. Electricity spreads like ripples or rings over the surface of the ground away from the point of contact. Each ring carries a different voltage. If you step into one ring while your other foot is in the other, the electricity will make up the difference in voltage through your body. Because of this step potential, in the event of a motor vehicle accident involving a power line, call to the occupants to stay inside the vehicle unless it is on fire. If the vehicle is on fire and there is some other immediate danger to the occupants, instruct the occupants to jump from the vehicle with both feet together and then bunny hop or shuffle at least 10 meters to safety. Do not touch the ground and vehicle at the same time. This is called touch potential and may result in the electricity completing the path to ground through your body. Whether or not an accident scene involves a down power line or other electrical contact, it's always important for you to ask yourself, where's the line to avoid contacting overhead power lines with ladders or other extendable equipment? Be especially prudent in situations where smoke could be concealing power lines. Never spray water at a potentially energized power line. The electricity may follow up the water stream, electrocuting the person holding the hose and energizing the equipment farther up the hose. Contain the fire around the line only and use a fogging spray. Barbed wire fences, chain link fences, guardrails, and train tracks are excellent conductors of electricity and can extend for large distances. If a live wire is touching one of these things, assume that the entire span could be energized. The same safety guidelines apply in the event of an underground contact. Treat the underground facility or anything in contact with it as being energized. Stay 10 meters away. Energized conductors may not be visible. Phone Fortis Alberta and guard the area from others entering the accident scene. Wait until a power line technician arrives on scene and confirms that you can safely proceed. In the event of a building fire, do not attempt to disconnect the electrical service. Never cut service wires, rather turn off the power at the main circuit breaker. Never attempt to remove electrical meters. This is extremely dangerous and can cause serious injury or death. Emergency scenes involving electricity can be far more dangerous than they appear. Remember how to stay safe and know that we are always there to help.